What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raves. There's not much we could say about Stranger Things that hasn't already been said. The show destroyed viewership and took the first spot on Netflix during the premiere of the third season. It was only lagging behind Game of Thrones in viewership. And that says a lot. And the Duffer brothers took their job seriously and didn't want any mistakes. That's why these guys managed to interview 906 boys and 307 girls for the roles of the characters on the show. And if you didn't already know, the legendary Stephen King helped the Duffers choose one of the best child actors for the role. But that's not to say that she was a delight to work with. One day she appeared with glitter on set. The makeup crew had to spend hours upon hours removing the glitter from her face. And even in real life, the child actors are really good friends. They even went trick or treating together. Which other actors do you know can say that? But we all know them pretty well. Those were just some things you might not have known about the show. That we're interested in today, however, is which other famous actors have appeared on the show. If you want to find out, here are the top 10 actors you didn't realize were in Stranger Things. Let's jump right in, guys. Number 10, Shannon Purser. What are we doing here? This house is three blocks away. And we can't park in the driveway. Are you serious? Yeah, the neighbors might. She played Barbara Holland on Stranger Things, and the audience loved her. Even though this was one of those minor roles on the show, she managed to catch the eye of some major production houses. Her role was so popular that she even got an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series. If you didn't know, Shannon is from Atlanta, Georgia, and attended college there. She then made her breakthrough with her appearance on Stranger Things, and she is currently working on the hit Netflix TV series, Riverdale, where she plays Ethel Muggs. In 2018, she starred in the movie Sarah Burgess is a Loser, where she plays a shy, overweight girl who has a crush on the high school's quarterback. And while we're at it, it's worth mentioning that she came out as bisexual, announcing the news on Twitter. Number 9, Maya Hawk. R O 4 6 Popeye. Yeah, yeah, I can count. You know that means you suck. Yep. Being born in an acting family, Maya is no stranger to good acting. The stunning actress is daughter to actress Uma Thurman and actor Ethan Hawk. On the set of Stranger Things, she plays Robin. But did you know that she made her breakthrough with the role of Joe in Little Women? And her artistic spirit couldn't be tamed. In 2019, she released the first singles which were titled To Love a Boy and Stay Open. If you were wondering whether they're any good or no, it's worth mentioning that the Grammy Award winner Jessie Harris has been the one writing her text. Furthermore, her stunning looks have managed to get her modeling contracts as well. She appeared in the campaigns of Calvin Klein, Vogue, and All Saints. And mind you, she's only 21 years old. <laughs> Yowza! Number 8, Winona Ryder. Her real name was Winona Laura Horowitz, which she later changed to Winona Ryder. You know she's an amazing actress when you see that she's been nominated for two Academy Awards and a BAFTA Award. Plus, she has won a Golden Globe Award. Her success began when she appeared in Tim Burton's Beetlejuice, which were followed up by major roles in Heathens, Mermaids, and The Age of Innocence, for which she got an Academy Award nomination. Did you know that Ryder dated Johnny Depp and she was even engaged to the guy for three years? After that relationship failed, she managed to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But in reality, she managed to get Matt Damon. And in 2001, she even managed to get herself arrested for shoplifting. Guess designer clothes are her weakness. Number 7, Joe Keery. Fabergé. What? It's Fabergé. If the previous actors had their breakthroughs in some other shows and movies, Joe Keery got his on the set of Stranger Things, where he plays Steve Harrington, the caring jock that we all know and love. Keery was born in Newburyport, Massachusetts on April 24, 1992, which means he is currently 28 years old. He was born in a house with five children and he loved the theater since he was a young boy. He even participated in the local plays. His love for the performing arts got him to go to theater school in Chicago. He then went on to do commercial for Domino's and KFC. 
But if you've ever watched Empire or Chicago Fire, you might know him from there. He made small appearances on those major shows before getting his role on Stranger Things. He is now a musician in the rock band Post Animal. Number 6. David Harbour this is the guy that plays the chief of the police, Jim Hopper and Stranger Things. But that's just one role in a plethora of parts that have made him a successful actor. He started his career in 2004 with a big role in the movie Kinsey. Since his initial success, he has earned a Primetime Emmy Award as well as nominations for a Golden Globe for portraying characters in movies like Brokeback Mountain, Hellboy, Suicide Squad, The Equalizer, and many, many more. Because of his depression, in his 20s, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And when it comes to dating, he appeared hand-in-hand -hand with Lily Allen on the red carpet in 2019. There are rumors that the couple is planning to get married. Number 5. Cara Buono. We love the caring mom of Nancy, Mike, and Holly, Karen Wheeler. And the actress behind the character is none other than Cara Buono. If you're a little older, you might know her from The Sopranos, where she played Kelly Moltisanti during the sixth season of the show. She also portrayed Dr. Faye Miller in Mad Men during the fourth season. And we suppose she didn't even plan on becoming an actress, because she majored from Columbia University with a degree in English and political science. But then again, we can't forget her role in Harvey Firstein's The Spook House, when she was only 12 years of age. When it comes to her personal life, Buono is married to Peter Thumb, who has been the founder of Ethos Water, and then live in Greenwich Village with the one daughter. Number 4. Charlie Heaton He's the man behind Jonathan Byers in Stranger Things. He's Charlie Heaton, and he was born on February the 6th, 1994. He is currently 26 years old. In case you missed it, he is an English actor that came to America for his role on Stranger Things. If you've ever watched British TV shows, DCI Banks, you might know him from there. He also appeared in movies like As You Are and Shut In, and he has even won a Screen Actors Guild Award in 2017. When it comes to his personal life, he's quite the sketchy character. He has a son at the age of 20, meaning his son is now 6 years old and he is in a relationship with Natalia Dyer, his co-star from the show and he was detained at LA International Airport because he had trace amounts of cocaine on him. Number 3. Chase Stokes Could I get one more? Yeah, sure. If you didn't know who Chase Stokes is, then we highly recommend you watch the Netflix hot new series called Outer Banks. It features a group of teenagers that are in rival gangs and are looking for a $400 million treasure hunt that John B.'s father had. Oh, and did we mention that Chase plays the major role in the show? <laughs> yeah! Chase was born in Maryland in 1992 to a notable businessman that is the president of Stride LLC, a fitness company. His love for acting was responsible for his arts degree from Valencia College, and he even got his MBA from the University of Central Florida. Although he likes to keep his dating life a secret, we know that he's been close with a girl named Sio Montalvo in the past. Currently, there are rumors that Chase Stokes is in a relationship with one of his co-stars from Outer Banks, who's called... Number 2. Madeline Klein I have no idea. Would you check out that ass? That's right, she's the girl that Chase Stokes is allegedly seeing behind closed doors. These two are so obvious, they're constantly flirting with one another and they're basically living together because of the coronavirus pandemic. And yes, Madeline Klein has appeared in two episodes of Stranger Things, however, since her appearance on the show, she managed to land a major role on Outer Banks, playing Sarah Cameron, the lover of John B. Her career is off to a very good start considering that she's only 22 years old and she started her acting career in 2009. You go girl! Number 1. Sean Astin Do you know the phrase, Alright Mr. Frodo? That's right, 
Samwise Gamgee from the Lord of the Rings trilogy has also appeared in the second season of Stranger Things, playing the role of Bob Newby. He was born in California in the early 70s, and he has loved acting ever since he was a child. Although he had somewhat of a troubled childhood and his father not wanting to accept the fact that Sean was his son. His first movie appearance was in Please Don't Hit Me Mom, where he played the eight-year-old son of an abusive mother. Later, he went on to star in movies like The Goonies when he was only 13 years old. And his iconic role in the Lord of the Rings trilogy has got him to do a tattoo on his ankle that says nine, symbolizing the other actors that from the show, all of which has gotten the same tattoo on the same spot. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, which of these actors was your favorite on the show? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys!